Looking for a movie with a mix of laughter, shock, and heartbreak? Look no further than The Razor's Edge, a film from 1946 that has surprises in store. This movie isn't just about entertainment, it leaves a lasting impact. What qualities do you think keep audiences coming back for more, even after all these years? There's something about The Razor's Edge that sticks with you. Maybe it's the interesting characters, or perhaps it's the thought-provoking themes. Whatever it is, the movie has a way of leaving a mark. Have you ever had a moment where a film changed your life? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We'd love to hear how The Razor's Edge has made a difference for you. Keep watching for some fascinating, shocking, and touching facts about the film. You won't want to miss out on the journey it takes you on. The Razor's Edge is a fascinating movie from the 1940s produced by 20th Century Fox and Daryl F. Zanuck. It stars Tyrone Power as Larry Farrell, who embarks on a journey worldwide to discover the meaning of life. Along the way, he meets a wise holy man in India, played by Sasso Humphreys. The film is based on Debbie Somerset Maugham's 1943 novel and effectively captures the essence of the story thanks to the screenplay by Lamar Trotty and direction by Edmund Gooding. Jean Tierney gives a strong performance as Isabel, alongside John Payne as her husband Gray, and Anne Baxter, who shines as Sophie, earning her an Academy Award. Clifton Webb impresses as Elliot Templeton, with Herbert Marshall delivering a subtle portrayal of Mom himself. The film's depth is enriched by the nuanced performances, especially Power's portrayal of Larry, showcasing his acting skills beyond his good looks. Baxter's performance also stands out for its complexity, while Marshall's subtle expressions add depth to his character. Despite its age, The Razor's Edge remains a timeless classic worth watching, different from its pale remake. It's a film that explores the complexities of human existence, leaving a lasting impression on viewers. In the production of the film, Ori Kelly was initially tasked with designing the costumes. However, Nancy Guild was initially considered for the role of Sophie. Meanwhile, Clifton Webb had a stint in Hollywood in 1935, where despite socially enjoyable experiences, his professional endeavors were futile. He spent 18 months engaging in leisure activities, but never appeared in a motion picture. He famously dubbed Hollywood as a land of endowed vacations. Clifton Webb hosted Noel Coward's birthday celebration in Hollywood on Sunday, December 16, 1955, as Coward prepared for his television production of Blythe Spirit. Rehearsals took place in Webb's living room until sets were ready at CBS Television City. Betty Buckall and Claudette Colbert starred, though Coward found them challenging to work with. Despite Coward's health issues, the show was a success, with the studio audience reacting positively. Tyrone Power and Gene Tierney starred in the film and had good chemistry, sparking rumors of a real-life romance. However, Tierney was seeing John F. Kennedy, which Power respected after Tierney clarified. Tierney's husband, Oleg Cassini, also worked on the film, but there was no tension between them despite their impending divorce. The film was the only Best Picture Oscar nominee that year to also be nominated for Best Heart Direction. In 1946, a significant cinematic piece titled The Razor's Edge emerged, featuring Ann Baxter and marking Mary Brewer's debut. Notably, Baxter, born in Indiana, shared the screen with Charlton Heston in later films like The Ten Commandments and Three Violent People. Heston, her co-star, hailed from Indiana's western neighbor, Illinois, and was born four months after Baxter. A noteworthy inclusion in the cast was Elsa Lanchester, who contributed to seven Oscar Best Picture nominees, showcasing her versatility in films like The Private Life of Henry Roman VIII, David Copperfield, and The Razor's Edge in 1946. Her cinematic journey continued with roles in films such as The Bishop's Wife, Witness for the Prosecution, and Mary Poppins. These facts provide a glimpse into the collaborative efforts and diverse backgrounds of the cast in shaping the narrative of The Razor's Edge. Each actor brought their unique experiences to the film, contributing to its depth and resonance in the world of cinema. In the 1930s, Fritz Kortner faced strong criticism from the National Socialists in Germany. They attacked him in a newspaper run by Goebbels, blaming him for being Jewish. Because of this hostility, Kortner left Vienna and moved to London, then settled in New York in 1937. Four years later, he moved to Hollywood. Around the early 1950s, Anne Baxter wanted to revive her career. She left 20th Century Fox and changed her appearance to become a glamorous blonde actress, posing for attention-grabbing photos. This daring move brought her publicity and led to roles in glamorous movies. In a different context, Jeff Rector portrayed Herbert Marshall in an episode of the FX series in 2017, showing Marshall's lasting influence even in modern depictions. These different paths are part of Hollywood's history. 
Each person adds something unique to the story. The movie The Razor's Edge, although not mentioned directly, provides the background for these stories. In the mid-1940s, during the production of The Razor's Edge, significant events unfolded among its cast members. Jean Tierney, during her sole appearance at the Hollywood Canteen, contracted rubella, leading to the birth of her first daughter with intellectual disabilities. This incident served as inspiration for Agatha Christie's novel The Mirror Cracked and its subsequent film adaptation. Clifton Webb, following Fred Astaire's success, received substantial attention from MGM, which believed it could turn him into a dancing star. Despite being offered various projects, including a musical titled Elegance, based on the lives of ballroom dancer Morris and his partner Florence Walton, none materialized into a completed film. Webb's contract, makeup tests, and discussions about potential roles failed to result in any cinematic endeavor. Additionally, The Razor's Edge incorporated footage from a photographic expedition by the Bombay Film Co. in the Himalayan Mountains as reported in a July 1946 issue of Hollywood Reporter. These behind-the-scenes occurrences shed light on the complexities surrounding the production of the 1946 film. In the world of movies, The Razor's Edge from 1946 stands out. It stars John Payne, known for his roles in film noir. Payne's performance adds depth to the story, fitting well with the style of the movie. During filming, there's a crucial scene in the hospital that deeply affected Ann Baxter. This scene reminded her of losing her three-year-old brother when she was young. She poured genuine emotion into it, considering it the highlight of her career even years later. Elsa Lanchester, another important actor in the movie, is discussed in her biography. Her role adds complexity to the film, making the storytelling richer. In short, The Razor's Edge showcases the talent and emotional depth of its cast, especially John Payne and Ann Baxter. The mix of personal stories and movie magic creates a timeless narrative. In 1946, a movie starring Ann Baxter became famous in the film world. She's known for her roles in many big movies like The Pied Piper and The Magnificent Ambersons, but it was in 1946 that she really stood out. At the 19 Academy Awards on March 13, 1947, Ann Baxter won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her part in The Razor's Edge. This was a big deal because she was the only nominee in that category from a movie nominated for Best Picture that year. The Razor's Edge faced tough competition at the Oscars, but Ann Baxter's performance earned her the award. This movie is a significant part of film history from 1946 and shows how talented Ann Baxter was.